that. <laughs> it was so hot outside. We tried to tailgate for a hot second, and it was too hot. I was going to say, I was watching the highlights. I thought I saw you in the stands like two or three times. I was there, <laughs> of course, the entire game, start to finish. They cry a little bit at the end. My daughter, my son, they were all there, so we had a good time. Wonderful. That's great. That's great. Was it kind of loud? It could have been louder, so I am going to implore the Houdet the Houdet Nation just to Trust bring me. it on. But as you can tell, I'm a little yeah. hoarse, so I was loud. <laughs> that so, was preseason. We yeah. ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> right. Just wait till the regular season starts. <laughs> We're tracking a little bit of rain on WDSU first warning radar. There's the Superdome behind me. 167 days until the Super Bowl, which hopefully the Saints are going to be in. Wouldn't that be great? WDSU first warning radar showing us a few showers. I think the showers we're looking at are actually associated with an upper level low that helped to bring us some rain yesterday. We got about a half an inch rain at the airport. Hopefully you got some rain in your neighborhood because things have been dry. There's a thunderstorm over cutoff. Looks like Thibodeau, you could get a little bit of rain here in the next half hour or so. And also, it looks like a sea breeze, or pardon me, a lake breeze, is developing on the North Shore. So North Shore, you may have some showers developing here in the next two hours. 93 in Bogalusa, 92 at the lake, 90 in Hammond, and it's kind of humid too. Our dew point temperature, which actually was down in the 60s Saturday morning, is now up at 76. So it feels like summertime again with 90 degrees our current temperature. More moisture at the mid and upper levels of the atmosphere thanks to this, an area of low pressure which moved through the Gulf of Mexico. Now moving into Texas. Again, that low may be triggering those showers that we're seeing right now, but our chance for rain is actually going to be going up on Wednesday as our chance for rain is going to go up to about 60%. But let's go to the tropics. Nothing going on that we're concerned about. Gulf of Mexico is quiet. Caribbean, some disorganized cloudiness. Intertropical convergence zone, nothing that the National Hurricane Center is worried about. But I did notice something. The fact is we have this dry air that again is going to be coming off the coast of Africa. We've talked about this several times over the last three, four weeks or so. Well, the dry air that's been in place, the dry, dusty air, may be helping to hold the water temperatures down just a little bit in the Atlantic. Things are surprisingly quiet when you consider that it's the end of August, but let's just be thankful that's the case, and that's the way the National Hurricane Center expects it to stay over the next seven days. Today, scattered showers, isolated thunderstorm, chance for rain officially at about 40%. As we get to 7 o'clock, though, most of the rain should be done. Tomorrow is going to play out a lot like today. We'll start in the mid to upper 70s. By the noon hour, starting to see the first of the showers pop up. And our percentage of chance for rain tomorrow, again, at about 40, meaning 60% of us are going to be dry. But here's the change. High pressure sliding farther to the east, bringing up a little more moisture and possibly a disturbance. So Wednesday, going to be kind of an unsettled day. Could have some showers in the morning, getting a bit more numerous by the later morning and early afternoon. So our chance for rain on Wednesday at 60%. Partly cloudy, scattered showers and thunderstorms today, 40% chance for rain. Overnight tonight, sky should be mainly clear. It is going to be muggy. We'll be in the 70s again. And then tomorrow, also the chance for rain at 40%. Before we get wetter, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, our chance for rain going up to 60%. And with a little more cloud cover and a few more showers the afternoons, a degree or two cooler. That's your WDSU first warning forecast. We